Hi, my name is Trevor Lund from Harvest Community Church, and uh, you can read my blog at RevTrev.com. And in this uh, video, I'm going to talk about why you can trust the translations of the Bible. And uh, I want to just tell you, like, people ask me this quite a bit, like, what, what's the best translation? And the, the answer I give them is really, what do you want to do with the, with the Bible? Uh, you can translate any anything from one language to another in one of three ways. You can trust a uh, translate it word for word. Uh, in the Bible, it's the King James, Revised, NASB, Holman Christian Standard. You can translate it thought for thought, and that's the NIV and the New Living Translation, for example, the concept for concept, and that's more of the message or the voice. Um, and most translations, you get a team of the world's best scholars, and they state their biases and their focus, and they define the codex they're using and why, and they translate accordingly, defending their choices, and the result is that the best translations the world has ever known are the translations we have today. By far, the best translations of the Bible that we ever have are the ones we have today. But what happens when that's not the case? Like, for example, the message. The message didn't have this kind of rigorous scholarly review. I, I will never defend a word from a concept for concept translation, you know. <laughs> but it, the message is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. So in my estimation, it's doing its job. What we need to remember about the translations is if God can ensure that the letter got copied correctly for 2,000 years, uh, he can ensure that the translated text continues to be useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. Now, you can trust the translations. If you want a word-for-word -word translation, you want to study the words, there are good ones out there. Understand that it's there's no such thing as a true word for word translation because, like, Galatians 1 to 4 is one sentence uh, when Paul writes angry, and uh, <laughs> it doesn't work that way in English. Uh, Greek is, is you can have the verb and the noun that it uh, modifies, like, at different parts of the, the sentence, and it, it you know it by the ending. And in English, they got to be side by side, it's they're all good. They're all good. Get the ones you like. Memorize them. Meditate on them. Make them part of your life. Make make the Bible part of your life. It is your it is your it, it's your bread. It's your life. It cleans you. It cleanses you. It makes your mind think the right thoughts. It lets you think about what is whatever right and pure and true and noble and, and of good report. It is it's your life. Don't make excuses. <laughs> Get into the book. You don't have to defend the Bible. Simply invite people to experience it.